Yeah, look, obviously, um, there's a task ahead for South Africa, and uh, yeah, we'll be watching with interest, and um, and yeah, we'll find out who we're going to be playing um, next game if we're if you know if England do win, obviously we're through. So we know we're going to be facing Pakistan, which is going to be a um, a good challenge. Um, look, I won't say the team was out of form. I think you have to look back and look at the wickets that they played on. Um, and to be fair, New Zealand went to Bangladesh as well and played on those kind of wickets. And, you know, that's very difficult when you're, you know, if teams aren't getting more than 100 um, from both teams, it's going to be a challenge for, for anyone. So for us, you know, we come out here, the wickets that are being produced here are outstanding. Um, the curators did an amazing job over the last 12 to 14 weeks to host IPL and this World Cup. Um, and we're obviously seeing a very nice batting wicket that was out there today. Uh, and I think... After the last game as well, playing in Dubai, the wickets are becoming very, very nice and very true. So, look, I think um, all in all, uh, I think we're hitting the, the momentum in the right stage of this uh, of this tournament. Um, as the gentleman here said, he said that Pakistan are like dragons. They're, they're going really well. But at the end of the day, you know, you, you've got to stay up and about. And uh, that's what we're going to be trying to do. Um, you know, if we, obviously, if we make it through watching closely this game tonight. Look, I think that, you know, we... we you always try and look to play the complete game. And, you know, you look at today and, you know, Joshy got, I think, four for 40 odd off his four overs. And, you know, in, in this format, um, you can take those wickets and still go at tens and over. But, you know, sometimes in the mindset, when you come up against a team like the West Indies, they're going to get you in the first six. Um, they're, they're not afraid to play their shots throughout. So we as a, as a bowling, as a, well, I'll say as a bowling group, they've got to try and execute their plans, which they try to do um, as best they can. We know even if you take early wickets against the West Indies, they're going to keep coming hard. And, you know, the last five overs is is where I think they put on a lot of runs, especially with Pollard and, and Bravo there um, towards the end. So they did an exceptional job to get to a total today. Us under, I think, 160, I think, was a pass score. It was a very nice wicket. Um, and with the bat, yeah, you can say that we're, you know, we're on a nice wicket there tonight. So it was actually great to get some momentum, um, get the ball, you know, onto the bat. Um, you know, playing nice strokes. You didn't have to take too many risks. And, yeah, moving forward, hopefully, to, to Dubai, it's, it's a very similar surface as well. We see a lot of teams that bat first there find it very difficult to put a, a competitive total on board. But um, hopefully now, you know, with the, the semifinals and finals, potentially there we can actually, you know, perform as well as we can if we, if we lose that toss. I'm seeing a very clear mind cricketer. Um, he's coming out, playing his natural game. Uh, he's... he's you know, he's training the house down, he's in peak performance, uh, he's, I mean, fitness. Um, you know, he's worked really, really hard. You know, he's obviously come in at a young age early on and, you know, a lot of people were knocking him. You know, it's, it's, not, it's not our fault that, you know, sometimes you get selected in teams and, you know, you try your best every time. But, you know, there's certain times now where a lot of the, those players that have been around for a while are peaking and, and are finding their straps and, and playing with a clear mind. And that's exactly what he's doing. His form's been outstanding. He's hitting the ball as clean as anyone in this team. And you can see it happening out in the field, which is fantastic. And I'm, I'm really, really pumped for him. And it's great for our team. Yeah, look, obviously very toss-dependent game that with that wicket. Um, they bowled extremely well. And we know that they come harder in the, in the power play. They've always had great success. So, you know, from, from our point of view, it's, it's good to get one of those games out of the way because sometimes it happens in tournament play. Sometimes you do get... Um, hurt and you get hurt badly and that's what happened to us and for us it's going and just uh, doing what we normally do if you have to forget very fast about that keep backing your game plan and, and putting your best foot forward and we've been able to do that we've got a great bunch of guys here and every time we're back at the hotel or uh, we've got some free time the boys are gelling very well we're in each other's rooms we're out in the driving range playing golf playing playstation we're doing you know just the, the normal things that take your mind away from cricket and it's been great they're just pure entertainers. Um, obviously, their cricket class is, is there. Their stats speak for themselves. I think Chris has obviously changed the game for, for all uh, opening batsmen around the world in all three formats. One, he's got a lot of size in, uh, on, on his side and he's got a lot of power on his side. So he's able to, to pick up three-pound bats, which we can't. Um, but the way that he came out you know, from, from his career from the get-go, and he just put fear in the, in the back of the bowlers' minds and he was able to intimidate. And uh, he's had a great career um you know i respect that um immensely and you know I, i'm just proud to watch him um and be a part of you know uh, a, a team as well I, I managed to play with him which is great awesome competitor and a great entertainer and you know, dj is obviously a uh, a great competitor you know world-class cricketer you don't you don't play 18 years by fluke 
um, by any means. And to have a career like those those two gentlemen have, you know, they, they deserve um, a, a massive applause. And um, you know, I, I wish them all the best in their future endeavours. And yeah, look out on their social media because they're uh, they're characters and entertainers, and I love it.